Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install the simple voice chat mod on the classic fun servers. To download the mod, head over to the official download page. The link will be in the description. Then you press the files tab here. You'll have to look for the version of Minecraft you want to download this mod for. The server I'll be running is 1.19.2, so the mod version needs to be equivalent to that. Also make sure it says Forge next to it and not Fabric, since this tutorial will be covering the Forge mod loader. To download your chosen file, press the arrow next to it, and when this window pops up, simply wait a couple seconds. When the download is complete, we then recommend dragging the files to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. Of course, you'll also need the Forge mod loader installed on your PC. There are two ways of doing this, either using a third-party launcher like the Curse Forge launcher or the manual way through your normal launcher. In this tutorial, we will show you how to do it the manual way as that will work for everyone. To download the Forge mod loader, head to this page. The link for this will also be in the description. On the left, you'll see all of the Minecraft versions available for download. Click on the version you want to download, but make sure you select the same version as the mod you downloaded. So click on the installer button from the top one on the list. It'll redirect you to this this page. You'll need to wait a couple seconds and then press skip. Then the download will begin. Make sure to let it finish downloading like normal. To install Forge on your client, simply double click the installer you just downloaded. If this window doesn't pop up for you, that may be because you don't have the latest version of Java installed on your PC. To fix that, check out our how to download Java video, the link will be in the description. Afterwards, ensure that the install client option is selected and then press OK. When this window appears, simply wait until it has successfully installed the client to close the tabs. Then you should confirm that the Forge client has been installed properly by opening the Minecraft launcher. If the Forge client shows up on the bottom left, then it's working as intended. To install the mod, we will need to access the Minecraft mods folder. To do this, press the Windows key and the R key at the same time to open this run window. In the text box, what you want to type in is percentage, app data, percentage, and hit enter. When this files explorer window is open, you should go ahead and double click on your .minecraft folder. In here, you should see a mods folder. However, if there isn't one, making a new folder and naming it mods will work the same, like so. Afterwards, open the mods folder and drag the simple voice chat mod you previously downloaded into it. You can then close this files explorer window. To confirm that the mod installation has worked, go into your Minecraft launcher and launch the game with the Forge mod loader you previously installed. When the game is finally open, if you see a mods tab with the simple voice chat mod on the list, the installation was successful. For the next step, we'll be setting up the server. This video will go over how to do this on our classic plans. We already have a video on how this is done on the VPS plans, so go check that out. The link will be in the description. Firstly, go to your control panel. As you can see, I have vanilla Minecraft installed. Next, go to the reinstall tab and under the server type dropdown, select Forge. There, find the exact version of Forge you downloaded. If it's not the exact version, this will not work. If you don't see the exact version on the list, you'll need to install that manually. We have videos on how to do this, so you can go into the description if you're interested in those. Once you're finished watching them and have the correct version of Forge installed, come back to this video. However, if the exact version is on the list, simply select it. Under the remove file Files drop down, select yes. This will delete all previous files on your server. So if you need to keep a file like a world, go to the files tab and simply download it from there before doing this. Then the last step is to press the reinstall button. When Forge is installed, make sure the server is booted up completely. So go to the console and ensure it says done at the bottom. Once it says done, you're ready to install the mod on your server. Now to install the simple voice chat mod on your Minecraft server, you'll need to head to the files tab. Find the mods folder and click it to enter the folder. Then simply drag the simple voice chat mod file into the folder to upload it. Once the mod is uploaded, restart the server for the changes to take effect. Again, quickly head back to the console tab to make sure the server is fully booted up again. Now, this is where it gets a bit different depending on which plan you have. If you have the premium basic or medium plan, you need to follow the following instructions. Go into the advanced settings tab and at the bottom you will see two extra open ports that you have. Copy one of them and then go back into the files tab. 
From there, open your world folder and then go into the server config folder. There you will see a file called voicechatserver.toml. Open it and under the port option on line 6, you can see it says 24454. Instead, it should be one of the open ports you just copied, so delete that number and then paste whatever port you copied earlier. Then save the file and again restart your server. Now you've installed the mod successfully on your server and can join it and play with the mod. But if you have the pro, high or ultra plan, you need to do things slightly differently. Here's the pro plan control panel with the mod I just dragged into the server as before. Now go into the firewall tab. You can now access this since you're on the pro plan. Then from here select all UDP traffic under the protocol drop down. After enter the default port of simple voice chat which is 24454. That's the number that's inside the config file from earlier. Then press the add rule button and you're done. This however can take a few minutes to register so please wait a little. You may also want to restart your server. But after that you've successfully installed it. To test the mod in game launch Minecraft and make sure that Forge is selected at the bottom left. Once you've loaded into your game, go to the multiplayer section. Afterwards, enter your server details like so and enter your server. The mod should work if you press V. This will access the options menu and you can go from there. Now I'm quickly going to go over a few features of the mod. Once you're in game, you can press V on your keyboard to access the mod options menu. If you click on settings, there are a bunch of options you can mess around with. You can turn your volume up or down. You can toggle the push to talk mode or voice detection mode as well. With the tabs at the bottom, you can also select which microphone you want to use and the speaker. Back on the menu though, you can also create groups. This means you can talk in private with the selected number of people on the server and the other players won't be able to hear you. You can also mute your microphone, disable the voice chat completely or adjust volumes of players. More importantly, a recently added feature is the ability to record voice chat sessions. All you have to do is press the recording button and once you've done, it saves to a new destination in your Minecraft folder. This mod adds a lot of other cool features so we recommend going over to server.pro and trying this out for yourself on a server with some friends. If for whatever reason the mod does not connect, that means the ports are not configured correctly. Again, this depends on which plan you have. If you have the premium plans, then you need to ensure that in the config you're using one of your open extra ports. So go to the advanced settings and copy one of them. Then go into the config file on the mod, which is in the worlds folder as being shown here. Paste the extra open port there and save the file. If one port doesn't work, try the other one. But if you have a pro plan, you have access to all of your ports, so you don't need to change the config file. You need to check it though to see what port is being used. The default is 24454. With the pro plan, you need to open it in the firewall tab. So go to the firewall tab and select all UDP traffic. Enter the same number as in the simple voice chat port and add it. Again, this can take some time, so please be patient. Make sure that after you make these changes, you restart your server and ensure that in the console tab it says voice chat server started at port and then your port number. Now hopefully everything should work just fine. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.